to welcome all of you to our December 18, 2014 Davis Campus Court meeting. This is the uh, final meeting of the year, as well as the final meeting of our four-year term. If I had known that we could fill this courtroom <coughs> the way we have by having Commissioner Lambert retire, he would have asked him to retire sooner. <laughs> Commissioner Lambert, would you lead us in a prayer and a pledge, please? Well, Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you continue to provide. We thank you uh, for our families, our jobs. Uh, the wits of so many of our people, and they, we want to thank you for the employees of the county, the staff of the county, and the good work that they do throughout the year. We ask for special blessings on this time of Christmas when we celebrate celebrate birth of Christ, and we ask that you keep us in our mind during this season. We ask that you continue your blessings and your guidance during this meeting, and you forgive us when we fail in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. Once again, I want to welcome everyone to our December 18th, uh, 2014 meeting. I saw Commissioner uh, Walton uh, over there kind of uh, look scant when I asked for Commissioner Lambert to say the prayer. I don't know if you didn't get the message or what. Well, I didn't, that's okay. Well, I thought it would be. Uh, you also, would, who took a picture? Are you kidding him? All right, I'll give you a special dispensation. I, I asked him what? I was going to say, I do have one thing I'd like to do real quick. Oh, okay, go ahead. I'd like to welcome my wife, Joni, to the, she's sitting in the back. Just want to make sure I mention her. Yeah. Commissioner Lambert, do you have any special guests tonight? Uh, yes, I do, Judge. Uh, my wife, Judy. Stand up, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter. Hey, Commissioner, she did take orders from you before you retired. She's not going to take them after you retire. Uh, can you get that gavel once, Judge? <laughs> uh, my daughter, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. My two granddaughters, Kendall and Caitlin. They worked, uh, they worked hard this week to make me think they didn't know what was going on tonight at they were in Lexington. My Kendall was in Lexington, and she pretended to be having gas. She's not a very good liar. I talked with her yesterday, and you should have heard her stumbling and tumbling about when she when she had tests, when she was going to be home. I knew she'd be home for this night. So, Kendall, you go. You, you need to learn to be a bit better fibber. <laughs> and uh, Caitlin's working, lives in uh, uh, Winston Salem, so she made it here. So, also, I just saw a nephew go down the hall. I don't know whether he's been arrested for something. Or <laughs> I saw him go down the hall with an attorney, so I don't know what that means. Maybe I need to go check on him. But uh, that's my family. Pardon me? My son in law, yeah, he hides back here. My son in law, David Moore, I need to. I need to recognize him because he's bigger than I am. And he'll give me a hard time. Don't. So I'd like to welcome my family. Okay. And say these other people, judge, believe it or not, my friends. Mm, well, you act, we, we will find out. You'll be on your best behavior we'll, tonight. We'll, we'll well, I'm telling you, I told somebody, look at both eyes. Where it's the first time he's tried to add a little class this meeting in the four years I've been here. <laughs> Judy, the Christmas dear, and my son Will are in the back. Now somebody's trying to, oh, there they go. Kirk, it's about time I had to take your job as MC. <laughs> uh, and I want to recognize uh, Commissioner Elect Holger out in the audience. Mike, welcome tonight. Charlie, do you have anybody here that you're friends with? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Judy Wade. There, there, there. Uh, All right. What's Judy's out there? Come on, come on in, folks. Judge, okay. Judge, excuse me. I do have one other special friend here I'd like to recognize. Okay. And I call her the meanest woman in Davis County. Is Judy she Knight, here? Is Ms. Knight Judy back Knight, here? Oh, there, Judy, Judy Knight. Knight. stand up and be So, Mike Coger, be ready, buddy, because he's going to wear. Judy, stand she's, up and wave at Mike. Mike, wave at Judy. She's uh, going to wear you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, every, well, time, every time Mike Lee falls up on her street, she wants somebody to clean it up. <clears throat> and she's and, mad and angry if, and, if you're not there in a hurry, so be, Mike, be ready. I, I, Rachel, Rachel Foster, our PBA, you're late. We we're going to find you five credits. Uh, all right, is that enough? That's enough, Jerry. No, it's That's not. Oh, no, it's not. We're just starting. <clears throat> you know, uh, first of all, commissioners, if you would look at your agenda, mm -hmm. I would like to move uh, item 3 in uh, between or right after item 2E, if that would be okay. Can I get a motion to do that? So, so second. Okay, a motion second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Jane, go ahead and start. I'm one consideration for presentation to this county economic development advisory commission regarding FSG. Okay, in the audience we have Christina Brown. She's a member of our economic development uh, uh, group. Yeah, whatever, whatever we call you, Christina. And I have to tell you, Jim, that after, after uh, Ms. Knight, Christina, I watched her in action. She's pretty tough. 
Christina. Thank you. I don't have much of a voice, but I am here on behalf of the Economic Development Advisory Group. Um, our board, we met on December the 9th and uh, discussed the expansion, the expansion plan, so especially food group, and we uh, recommend that this fiscal court allocate funds from the economic development pool in the amount up to $260,000, and this would be approved per job. Um, we anticipate up to 65 jobs, so $4,000 per job. Um, for the expansion at specialty food group, and this would have a 10 year window uh, allowing them to create those jobs, and um, there would be a clawback provision if, um, for jobs that were not created okay. uh, by that time frame. So I would like to recognize Patty Osborne, a Greater Winsburg Economic Development Corporation, to provide some additional details. Hey, and while Patty's coming up, I'd like to re recognize Representative Tommy Thompson, who just came into the courtroom. Welcome, Tommy. Patty? And Judge, uh, honorable members of the court, I want to thank you for your time today. Uh, I do have some additional details if you'd like to know. Um, we have um, Bob Bloom with Specialty Food Group. He's the corporate controller. Um, as far as the project itself, the project total is about three million, a little over three million. Uh, we'll have about 65 jobs that will be created. Um, the average wage is 16. With that benefits and clean benefits, it'll be about $24.60. Um, the project will be in a range of about three years. So we're looking at uh, the project beginning in 2015. It'll probably take until 2018 for the project to be completed. Mission Management is basically the project. Uh, there are some... some uh, what, what's the project? What are they going to do with the project? It's a um, uh, food processing packaging. Uh, it's a new line that they're adding to the, to the facility. Um, a few improvements to the building itself, but minor. Okay. Commissioners, any questions? Patty? Patty, you tell me. Y'all, it's what they don't know the name. What did the company used to be called? It's Fields. Fields Packing Company. And if I'm not mistaken, they're celebrating their 100th. They are December 14th. It's their 100th anniversary, and we'd like to congratulate uh, Socialist Food Group for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's rare that you have a company stay that long. It the is. Community. It really is. And, 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 and we're proud of that. Uh, in fact, in 2015, I don't want to tell you a lot about the events that are going on, but uh, we are playing several events along with Socialist Food Group, and details will be provided uh, next year. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of things going on. Okay. Commissioners, any, any other question or comment? Okay, Patty, you've got an introduction to make? Yes, I do. Bob Bloom, would you like to step up to the podium? Bob's a corporate controller. Um, he's been uh, in Owensville for approximately about a year. Moved up from West Virginia. I'm actually Virginia. Virginia. I'm sorry. I always back and use Bob. I'm sorry. Yeah. Welcome to Owensville. And he's been here um, living in Moses for about a year. But uh, he's <coughs> he loves Owensville, thank goodness. And he plans to stay with us. Corporate headquarters is here as well. So we're thankful for that. Um, we, we plan to keep him here. Come higher. Come hell or high water is all I can say. But uh, Bob, if you have any uh, any questions? Oh, Mr. Bloom, first, welcome uh, to Owensboro. A little late, but uh, we, we think this, we're kind of partial. We think this place is, is a great place to live, and we particularly want to say thank you for your investment in our community. Well, thank oh. you. We're very uh, pleased and honored to be in front of you, uh, trying to continue the growth and development of the field, especially food group, and that uh, we are excited about the 100th year anniversary, and like Patty said, we're going to try to visit several events going throughout the year. Uh, specifically, like uh, Pat said, we are looking to expand capacity. We have uh, basically hit, uh, and well, in addition, I got Steve Conrad. He's a head of operation. He's been with the organization for seven years. Seven years. That uh, we we had uh, uh, basically hit capacity. Where uh, what we're doing right now with the facility. So we're looking to expand uh, a third production line uh, that will uh, help the ham uh, uh, the ham side of the business. With that, uh, besides the uh, production line, we are building the infrastructure to help support, which is a smokehouse, uh, last reserve tumblers to help uh, 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 bring full production to uh, this third production line. So uh, that's what we're trying to attempt with that. Will be approximately 65 new jobs coming to uh, to the ant facility. Okay. Anything else? Um, I think that's it. Unless you have any questions. Uh, no, we don't. We will not act on this tonight. It's being presented to us. We'll take it under advisement, and we'll probably have it on our agenda at the January 8th meeting. Yes. I think you're going to direct Claude. I think court does want to direct Claude. Yeah, to uh, Claude, Claude would prepare the contract on the necessary papers for us to look at right. as we do it. So you're not going to be able to do that, Commissioner. Right. Right. Pull that. Uh, uh, judge, you know, created a million dollar fund to encourage and spur economic development and we know that the best economic development is the expansion of existing businesses and so I very much support your proposal and <coughs> I won't be able to vote but I will uh, maybe maybe I will kick somebody if they don't vote right <laughs> <laughs> yes sir 
I just want to say that this is exactly the, the type of expansion that we were looking for when we set this fund up. It's exciting. On behalf of 65 people who are going to get a job, I thank you. Well, and, and both commissioners are exactly right. This is why we set it up. And, and with this announcement, uh, the Economic Development Fund will have spurred just shy of $100 million of invest capital investment in this community and created shy of 200 jobs, uh, good paying jobs. So uh, it's done exactly what we thought it would do. I know it got off to a little slower start than some people would have liked, uh, <laughs> but we have continued to replenish that fund. It's my intention to replenish it. And there are several other counties in the Commonwealth now that have set up their own economic development funds. And uh, we are proud to be the first and, and use the tax payer dollars that we've gotten into our coffers, some of that surplus to spur economic development. So uh, thank you guys for, for having the faith in this community to stay here, number one, and number two, to expand. Uh, Patty, thank you, and EDC, for your work, particularly with the state. And Christina, uh, as always, I've seen you in action. You're a tough lady. I'll tell you, I'm glad I don't have to ask some money. So, well, I'm not sure if you're tough than Judy. Judge, I, need, more? I, you need, need, I need to make a couple of yeah, recognized couple of folks. Um, Commissioner Coo Bruskins, he came in, he's in the back. Bruce, hold up, Commissioner Mike Riney. Uh, I don't see him, but I know he's here someplace. Okay, he's, he's hiding back here. And then my nephew came in from Florida. That's the one that was with the And cops. I saw him go down the hall with a lawyer. I thought, oh, my goodness, what's he been arrested for? But apparently he hadn't been because he missed his daughter and uh, also, I guess, my great niece. Is that right, Steve? So they're here from Florida, and thank you. Jim, did I see uh, Mayor Pro Tem Debbie Nunley come in the door think back I there? I just did. Wave, wave at us, Mayor Pro Tem. Look who else is coming in. Joe, Joe's here. I'm telling you, commissioners, I told you we did not need to move the time of this meeting. We just needed to get him to retire. <laughs> Next item, Jenny. Item two, consideration for approval minutes of the December 4, 2014 court meeting. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion. Second, commissioners, you've had a copy of minutes in your pack for, for some time. Are there any corrections, additions, or deletions? Hearing none, all in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed. Most carries. Be all claims for all departments. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and second. Again, commissioners, you've had a copy of all the bills done payable <laughs> by Davis County Fiscal Court. Do you have any questions of the treasurer at this time? Hearing none, all in favor of 65 saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. C. Davis County Public Schools 2015 lease agreement. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and second. Ross, are you here to talk to us? Yes, Judge, I bring to you a calendar year 2015, uh, 2015 for the use of Davis County Public School facilities uh, for softball, uh, baseball, and football. Uh, I would uh, encourage your approval. Question or comment by the commission? Are these the same that we do each year? standard agreement that we've had for years, yes, sir. Question or comment by the public? Somebody trying to come in the door. I guess it's going to be like this all night. What yeah. will you call? Oh. <laughs> Question or comment? Who? Yeah, just can you prop that? Just prop the door open, and that way people will be invited to come in. If there are no other questions or comments, all favor signify saying aye. 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 Poll most carries. D bond release for Deer Valley Section One units two and three for streets and sidewalks. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion. Second. Uh, engineer Brasher, won't you tell us what we're going to do? Uh, yes, Judge, uh, the developer, uh, which is Jay Land Corporation, have a uh, request to release of surety for asphalt and sidewalk in the two units. Uh, engineering department has reviewed them in the field. They appear to be inappropriately. I recommend approval of the release. Question or comment by the commission? Question or comment by the public? There be none. All in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Most carries. We hired David Andy Ball as the director of Davis County Emergency Management Agency upon successful completion of pre employment testing. The start date will be December 29, 2014. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Commissioners, uh, Commissioner Kasson, won't you tell us the process that we went through to? Well, the first thing we did, because uh, Richard Payne had been in a position for so long, is we, we reviewed the, the job description and requirements and, and uh, edited those a little, and then we placed the ad, and, and we had 12 people that uh, responded to the ad, and after reviewing, we had a committee of, of um, there were five people on the committee, but one person dropped out. But Jenny Hurstie, our personnel person, and myself, and uh, Bill Parrish, city manager, and uh, Ron Mayfield, who's the fire chief at, at uh, like City of Whitesville. And, and so we, after we, we reviewed the 12 uh, resumes, we decided to, to interview 10. And um, we interviewed those on Friday and the following Monday and had a very good pool of applicants. And uh, Andy, uh, his, his um, resume was very strong, and also his, he interviewed very well. But he comes to us with a 20-year career in the uh, Air Force, and most recently, I think, uh, if, if what Jenny gave here, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base in North Carolina, and uh, 
He's spent 15 years with varying levels of increasing level of, of working in the emergency management field in the Air Force, on the various Air Force bases where he was stationed most recently, I believe it was as, at the level of superintendent of EMA uh, for, for uh, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. And I believe he's, he's the best candidate of the pool that we interviewed. So he's the candidate being recommended by the committee? He is, yes. Okay. Uh, Andy, won't you stand up? Uh, why don't you introduce your family? Okay, well, now, do you live in Ohio County? Do you live here in Owensboro? Okay, well, okay, well, welcome to the community. Yes, <laughs> now, Commissioner's reason to move in is once we vote on hiring Andy, then we have to vote on appointing him as EMA director for the next four years. It's a four-year appointment, so every four years you have to suck up this commission to reappoint it, <laughs> just like the treasurer. And the engineer, I can tell you, both of them have bought my lunch today. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the engineer even brought his youngest daughter in to tell me, Judge, see why I won't be able to support if you don't reappoint me. We're so, proud to serve, Judge. Uh, that's what I thought. Uh, any uh, question or comment by the commission as far as the hire? Welcome aboard. Here, no other comments. All those in favor of 65 are saying aye. 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 Oppose. Motion carries. Any, let's do in. Three, consideration for appointment in David Andy Ball to the director of Davis County Emergency Management Agency, January 1, 15 to January 1, 19. Move approved. Second. I have a motion and second. Uh, Andy, congratulations <laughs> on being appointed. That carries no extra pay by appointing you to that. You're going to have to perform those dues anyway. Question or comment? There being none, all in favor of saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Motion carries. Congratulations. Re retirement resignation of Robert Henderson, senior equipment operator, effective 12 31 14. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Uh, commissioners, I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Bobby Henson for 23 years of service and uh, wish him well during his retirement. Commissioner, you've been you've been around 16 years, yes. so yes. won't you say something? Judge, uh, Bobby was one of our head equipment operators, uh, excavators, backhoes, graders. Uh, I guess road grading is his specialty, and we still grade some gravel roads in the county, so Bobby has been uh, one of our better heavy equipment operators for a number of years and wish him the best in his retirement. Okay, anything else, commissioners? There being not, anyone out in the audience wish to say anything about Bobby? There being no other comment, all favors favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Commissioners, before we get started, I'm going to ask will be a, uh, a motion and a second to consider all the appointments we have listed in photo, with the exception of uh, R, S, T, and that's it, right? R, S, and T, and we'll take those separately. So, uh, do I have a motion? Second. I have a motion. Second. Jenny, would you read all these appointments, please? We take a deep breath. All right. Three. Consideration for appointment A. Angela Clark, Oasis Ward, December 1, 2014, December 1, 2017. Jan Goldman, Oasis Ward, December 1, 2014, December 1, 2017. Ben Avora, the Library Board, term effective immediately, expiring 9 13 18. Louise McNeil, Library Board, immediately expiring 9 13 17. Nathan Grant, Extension District, 123114 to 123117. Suzanne Cecil White, the Extension District, term 123114, 123117. Cynthia to the Grad Board, 123114, 123117. Maddie Jones, Green River Area Council on Aging, 123114, 123117. Louis Jean, OMPC, 123114, 123118. Ward Pedley, OMPC Board of Appeals, 123114, 123118. Ross Lee, Mid America Development Review Board, 1231 14, 1231 17. Bear Smith, DC, <coughs> Davis County, ASAP Board, 115 119. Jill Hendricks, Davis County, ASAP Board, 115 119. David Smith, Davis County Federal Courts Americans with Disability Act Coordinator, 1231 14, 1231 18. Mark Brasher, Stormwater Quality Advisory Committee, 1231 14, 1231 18. Mark Brusher, Transportation Advisory Commission, 115-1119. And that's it. Did I hear you say Joni Watson and G. Madley appointed the board? <laughs> what board was that? Okay, just, just wondered. Uh, commissioners, many of these appointments are first-time appointments. I want to thank you for your willingness to serve. Many of these have served on board in the past and agreed to serve again. I want to thank you for your agree agreeing to serve again. And some of the people are replacing people who served on the board for quite a while, and I want to say thank you to all those who are going off of boards. I want to particularly thank my friend Louis Jean for going to OMPC. He beat me mad the other night, so I'm taking care of him by putting him on OMPC. And I had another one to comment about. Well, I'll get to that. Commissioners, any question or comment? 
There being none, all they receive five of saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. R. Appointment of Commissioner George Lawson to the Drainage Commission. 1231-14-1231-17. Economic Development Properties. 1115-1119. Parks Board. 1115-1119. Stormwater Quality Advisory Committee. 1231-14-1231-18. Greater Owensboro Chamber of Commerce, 1231-14-1231-15. Okay, commissioners, can I have a motion uh, to approve? Move to approve, second. I have a motion and a second. I want to thank Commissioner Lawton for his service on, on the boards in the past. Uh, I want to thank him for his willingness to serve on these. I assume that you will not vote on them. I'll be uh, will abstain. Okay. If there are no other comments or questions, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And let the record show Commissioner Walton abstain. Next item. Ask Commissioner Carly Haston, Transportation Advisory Commission, 1115-1119, Economic Development Advisory Commission, 1231-14, 1231-17, Regional Transportation Committee, 1115-1119. Move approved. Second. I have a motion and second. Again, uh, Commissioner Castle has served on several committees. I want to uh, thank him for agreeing to do these. Uh, Commissioner Castle, I assume that you will abstain. I will abstain. Okay. Uh, if there's no other comment, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And let the record show Commissioner Castle abstain. Next item. T. Commissioner Lex Mike Cougar, D.C. Suite, 1115-119. Greenwood Cemetery Advisory Committee, 1115-1119. Structural Evaluation Committee, 1115-1119. Davis County Animal Care Control Board, 1231-14-1231-18. One more. Wait, wait a second. One more. Baby. Okay. Drug and Alcohol Steering Committee, Term 1231-14-1231-17. Okay. Second. I have a motion second. The good thing is Commissioner-elect Holger didn't get a vote. Any comment or questions? Uh, Commissioner-elect, I appreciate <coughs> your willingness to serve on these committees. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries, and I would have thought that Commissioner Lambert would have uttered a sigh of relief. <laughs> no comment. Next item. Four ordinances, a second reading of KOC 150.9-2014, an ordinance approving an amendment to the Interlocal Cooperation Agreement of February 26, 1999, bind between Ohio, Millenburg, Hancock, Davis, and McLean counties. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Commissioners, this is an item that we talked about uh, and, and discussed. Uh, Kim Lawson was on his way from the Muhlenberg County Fiscal Court meeting. I told him I appreciate him trying to make a meeting, uh, but it was not necessary. Uh, Mr. Mayfield is out in the audience. If you need any questions, ask basically what this is, is that Davis kept his court along with all the other participants pledged 25% of the money doing payable to them each year to go into a capital uh, improved fund <coughs> that funds not to exceed $500,000. Any question or comment? Question or comment by the public? Being on all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I have consideration for discussion. A other business to brought before the Davis County Fiscal Court. Looks like we've got a bunch of them. Approval of the easement with City Utility Commission regarding property around Highway 144, formerly U.S. 60 East, and authorization for the Judge Executive to sign the easement. Need a motion, please? Sorry, second. I have a motion. Second. Mark, do you know what this is? Claude, do you know yes, what this, this is? This is the easement in front of I the... I wish uh, it just marked it over like a deer in the headlight. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, from the detention center, behind the detention center for uh, the utility easement to go across there. Uh, okay. I've reviewed this. There's nothing extraordinary or unusual. I have talked to um, David Osborne and will not interfere with any of the operations of the division. This will be outside of the yes. fence area. Okay. Uh, question or comment by the commission? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of the easement with the utility commission regarding property along Bullfrog Boulevard and authorization for the judge executive to sign that easement. Second. I have a motion second. Claude? And this is one where there was a question about whether um, the easement had actually been transferred in the past. Um, the Economic Development Commission and the uh, Industrial Development Board. And this is just to clear that up. It's an easement along the Frog Boulevard all the way back about Still 20, easement, yes, utility easement. Again, I think extraordinary. Question or comment by the commission? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval to hire Lucas Johnson as a service technician at the Department of Public Works effective December 29, 2014, subject to successful completion of pre employment screenings. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Commissioners, uh, this is to replace a gentleman who's retiring. Is that correct? Uh, yes, one of these is to uh, replace uh, one that has already left uh, okay. uh, our department. The next one will be to replace uh, uh, Bobby Henderson. Bobby Henderson. Just okay. Uh, commissioners, any question or comment? Being on all favor, six five, saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of hire James McIntyre as service technician in the Department of Public Works effective January 4, 2015, subject to successful collision pre employment screenings. So moved. Second. I have a motion. Second again, commissioners. This is uh, a uh, person <coughs> to replace Bobby. Uh, no, no additional hires in that part. Uh, any question or comment? 
There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. The public comments. Uh, wait a there, there was another, I think, was there something else under there? Yeah, I, I, have one, I have one other uh, business to be brought for Davis County. I'd like to make a motion that we change the name of Little Hurricane Island Boat Ground Ramp. Water. <laughs> we want to change the name of the boat ramp to Lambert's Landing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a second. We have to have a second for that. Mr. Charlie, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, just for the sake of discussion, I'm going to second it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, it's, we've had a motion second. Do you want to come in? <laughs> uh, Debbie, would you collect the poll tax for that? <laughs> Did anyone come in? Uh, Commissioner, perhaps there is a reason for you wanting to make that suggestion. You know, you I, was, said that in front of me, did you? I went, I went to the file, and I found, first time I had any correspondence on this was... Um, January 4, 2001. So it's been a long time. We finally acquired in September. So Commissioner Lambert, for 14 years, he tried to help us get that boat ramp, and he wanted to add it to the park system. Right. Which so, we did. Which we did. And in fact, he referred to, he says, it's kind of like receiving a knife gift like a pony. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody else have anything? Oh, oh absolutely. Uh, but first, Mr. Haslam. Well, I just always thought. It sounds good, Jim. Lambert standing just uh, because unless you grew up on the west side of the county like myself, you don't have a clue where Little Hurricane County yeah. is. See, so this this put it on the map. Well, so. and, and Fisher, I'm trying to remember that word. I think it's called alliteration, right? <coughs> Lambert's Landing. Just for rose. Yeah. I'm going to make a, a a motion to amend. You know, when Jim and I were looking at this, he talked about putting a dog park out mm -hmm. in the county, and he thought that it'd be the perfect place. So I think it should be appropriately named Lambert's Landing and Dog Park. I second that motion. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Well, wait a minute. Mr. Lambert, would you care to comment? There be another day, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> there may be, but we're having fun today. Uh, your expense. Uh, would you, let me say something. So, so they can draw order. Okay. The, oh, uh, go ahead. We, we flew with this project for 14 to 15 years, and my support of that project declined. The... Uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, over a period of time, it seemed it may be more headaches than it had value. So they're they're harassing me. I, I changed from a supporter of the project to very lukewarm about the project. But, uh, it is open, and uh, hope that the public enjoys it. And uh, it really this is they're really not gonna name it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wait and see. What made you think? Yeah, that? you just wait and see. <laughs> All right, uh, commissioners, I have a uh, motion and second to amend the original motion and call it Lambert's Landing and Dog Park. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 That was pretty lukewarm. <laughs> those opposed? Aye. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to have a vote on the amended motion to call it Lambert's Landing and Dog Park. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Mr. Hanna Turner, they supposed to meet before you're <laughs> and, and, and Isn't that illegal? I, I believe it is. It is. Um, what do we do, Claude, if we don't get in one vote for it? What happens? It's a motion fails. Don't go, George. And that's your chance to die. You didn't ask if I opposed. I refuse. Oh. <laughs> All those opposed. opposed. Uh, uh, all right, that, that motion shot down. Commissioner, do you have another motion? Uh, wait a minute. Get rid of this thing also. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, uh, I do want to make a motion that we rename Pioneer Village, and we want our, the new name to be uh, James Lambert Pioneer Village. Okay. I'll second that one. I have a motion second. Are there any comments regarding that? Well, I, one of the reasons that we want to do this is it was actually Jim's idea. And Wait a minute. Say that again. It was <laughs> Jim's idea to name, to have park. I'm oh, sorry. okay. I just, <laughs> I'm glad you clarified that. It was Jim's idea to have the park, and, that's, and I think that's important. He's the one... He, he found most of the log cabins and, and, and got things done out there, so it's important. I also want to mention that, that Jim has been the uh, fiscal court liaison for parks for 16 years. And, of course, that's one of the reasons we want to do this. He's been on the rec Park and Recreation Board since 1999. Um, he introduced the concept of the 1.7 mile of the Greenbelt connector between Brook Hill and Mills Mill Road. He's the one who came up with the idea for the fireworks at the, uh, at, out at the park and also the uh, Christmas lights at the park. All those were Jim's ideas. And then also, during his period, the period of time that he was uh, county commissioner, the, the parks actually expanded from um, 226 acres, now they're 434 acres. So it's, it, the parks doubled under his reign. So, and on a serious note, Jim, we really want to do this, and, and uh, we appreciate all your service. Thank you. 
Well, Commissioner, I, I appreciate those comments, but you make it sound like Commissioner Coonsey and Commissioner Ryan and, and Mr. Uh, Caslin and, and I didn't help do anything in the last 16 years. That's pretty much true. I agree. <laughs> I was going to say I agree pretty much. That's well, Commissioner Caslin, do you have anything to say? Do you have the do, green snake bite you? You got I, a giggle? I do have the giggle. But, but, but I'll just say that, that uh, I'm, I'm glad that George made his motion and I'm going to support that. And, and while I liked Lambert's Landing, I didn't like the addition of the dog park. Okay. Uh, well, don't worry, Lambert's Landing is going to come back. I'm going to make a motion here in just a little bit. All right. Uh, Commissioner Lambert, would you, before I make my comments, would you like to comment? That way you don't get the well, let that me I have rebuttal. <laughs> you go ahead. All I want to say is I think it's extremely appropriate, very appropriate that we, we do this. Uh, we had three new people come on to the county commission four years ago, and, and Commissioner Lambert was the glue that held us together. Uh, we took his counsel most of the time. Sometimes we told him he was full of it. Uh, but uh, I know that we... Any of our successes have a whole lot to do with uh, the way Jim befriended us and uh, took us under his wing and guided us through the last four years. So, uh, Jim, thank you. Thank you. Now, you want to rebut those nice things I said? Can I make some remarks? Yes. Uh, I had another relative come in. I had, a, <laughs> had a niece. You know, it's going to cost me a lot of money to pay all these people to get in. How about the fishing buddies that came in? And I got fishing <laughs> friends. And uh, but, but let me say, when we came in office, and I'm talking about the court prior to this, court, Mike Riney, Bruce Kunze, Reed Hare, the, the court prior to that, Fred Marksberry, David Warren, and Gary Boswell, had, had left the, the county in good financial condition, and we were able to do some things. And uh, uh, we had some interesting uh, issues to deal with, uh, building a new jail, where to build a new jail, uh, the, the smoking ordinance, and, and some other issues that were tough issues. We had the uh, increased property tax to, to fund the, uh, the center, the new convention center. We had some tough issues to deal with during that term. And, and I very much enjoyed working with Bruce, Mike, and Reed, and I think we're a good court. And that court left this court, the current court of, uh, that you see up here tonight, in good financial condition, and, and this court has been able to make a lot of progress and expand our parks, uh, work hard on economic development, improve our infrastructure, uh, uh, cut saving, uh, cut spending, and had a tremendous amount of savings during this time. So it's been a different court, but both, both of them have been very functional and served, uh, served you well. And, and I know the, uh, the new court coming in will continue to do that. And so it's been, uh, there have been some times, uh, some good times and some tough times. And if you're a commissioner, uh, you know, you're going to make some decisions, Mike, that sometimes not everybody's going to agree with. You're going to think they should, but uh, they ain't not all agree with you. You're passing the note. Yes. I said earlier, and I'm going to say this again, the, the staff, I'm talking about the, all of the county employees, there are roughly 200 county employees driving uh, garbage trucks and transfer trucks and bulldozers and graders working in our parks, working here in the office. Uh, doing all sorts of road work and uh, all kinds of operations. We have a really an unbelievable staff in, in this county. And I, I spend most of my time here at the courthouse, and, and this bunch here is very special. They, they spoil me. Uh, Well, you can say that again. We do spoil you. We all agree with that. <laughs> so, so, thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> Mr. Mr. I'm going to tell you that that was well said. I think everyone in this room agrees with the things that you said. Uh, any other comments, commissioners? I'm going to ask a public comment here in a little bit because I know there's some who want to do that. But we need to vote on this motion. Do you remember what it is, George? Yes, sir. Do you remember what it is? Yes, sir. You guys I'll remember stay. what it is? I All, right. All right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And let it be shown, recorded at Commissioner Lambert State. You know, Two things I've got before we have public comment. We've talked about Lambert's Landing. It's such a good thing. So, commissioners, I'm going to make a motion that we name it Judy Lambert's Landing <laughs> <laughs> and Hog Park. Motion, motion, patch, patches, Dog Park. Oh, I thought that motion would die for a second. Commissioner Lambert, come up here for just a second. The, uh, the fiscal court, you know, everybody said they're going to get anything, and I said after him coming in that boat, anything we got, we should take back. Uh, on behalf of the County Fiscal Court and all the citizens of this community, it gives me pleasure and it's my honor to present you with a gavel that says Davis County Commissioner 
James Lambert, 1999 to 2014. And welcome to come back anytime. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can use it on Judy Lambert at your own risk. Okay, let's have some public comment. Anybody want to stand up here and make him feel bad? Midnight, I know you got something to say about him. Oh, <laughs> she's already said her piece. I, I hear you. Joe, are you coming up? If you would come up front and, and speak into this into the tin can so that everybody can hear you out in radio land. Well, Jill's been a good asset to the county. He's uh, always said he was for more for the people than he was for himself. Anyway, whenever he was trying to decide not to run, he didn't have no choice. <laughs> but me and his daughter said he had to run. So we got him to run. All right. At least we think we did. But anyway, he's been, he's been a good commissioner, a good mission in the community. And like I say, you don't work for the people in your you say. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe Elliott. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> Sir, before you start saying anything, raise your right hand and swear that Jim did <laughs> not pay you any money or promise you any political Nothing favors for what you're about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say on behalf of all the leverage team, we're so proud of you. And, uh, you know, from a uh, snot-nosed kid from Tawapity Bottoms, uh, I'd say you've done a pretty good job. We're really proud of you, Jim. Yes, sir. Representative Thompson. Judge and Fiscal Court, thank you. I've got a presentation I'd like to make to outgoing uh, Commissioner Lamb. But before I do that, I think we're all here tonight to um, share a couple of common denominators that we're excited and we're also sad we're excited because Jim's going to be moving into a new chapter in his life, one that he's deferred uh, for public service for many years. And looking forward to him doing a lot of those hunt do things and duties on our list for for many years so we're excited for that but we're sad because we're going to miss his leadership which has been exemplary here in this county and there's good to avoid when Jim lives but a couple of things before i make the presentation i am a little concerned about i want to bring his attention it seems like as he's moving into this new chapter of his life he's lost the direction on how to tie his tie <laughs> 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 well, uh, Judy, that happens as you get older <laughs> do that, well, he's going to need a lot of help keep it up he's going horizontal instead of vertical so uh, and Jim this, you know, you've done such a great job of representing the eastern part of the county and the eastern district but there are a couple of roads that I need to get you up with before you go out here at the end of the year but Jim in seriousness I have a citation from the Kentucky House of Representative that I'd like to present to you it's signed by the Speaker of the House Greg Stumbo and it basically I won't read it in its entirety but it applauds and recognizes uh, your exemplary service as a commissioner for 16 years to Davis County. And uh, I can't say it better than this does, but uh, you have been a passionate leader, you've been an effective leader, and you've made a difference. And uh, we all, I think it's fair to say, appropriate to say that Davis County is a much better place to call home because of the service of Jim Lambert. But we, uh, we appreciate all that you've done. Uh, and every time, you know, we might forget from time to time what you've said, but as we drive around, we'll see, we go to Dog Park and Friendly Hill and other places, <laughs> we'll remember and think of you with fond regard. But uh, thank you so much, and thank you for your friendship. Over the years, I've enjoyed serving with you, and as I said, your service has made a difference, and we wish you nothing but Godspeed and wellness and good health in all your future endeavors. I mean, thank you. I don't think I can say this in public, but I don't say if I could say I would say that Tommy sent a little extra money uh, our way for road, and we appreciate it very much. Thank you for comments. <laughs> Commissioner, the election's over. That public announcement didn't do him good. Anyone else? Now, I want to, yes, Kirk, while you're coming up, I want to invite everyone to a reception here immediately following a uh, fiscal court's meeting. And if you don't want to come up and see anything publicly, there will be time to take care of him afterwards, right, Mr. Hendricks? Okay. Yes, Kirk. Commissioner Lambert, I had the um, privilege of working with you as well for um, 15 years or so. I stood at this podium and, and talked to you about the hotel tax about 16 years ago. Permanently uh, against it. And uh, after talking back and forth, uh, the fact that you ended up supporting it uh, showed me that you really had what the best interest of the county and the citizens were. There have been many examples of your leadership, but I think uh, the highest compliment we can pay on behalf of me personally and my family and as interim leader of the Great Lawrenceburg Chamber of Commerce is that you truly are the epitome of a public servant. Looking at your background in education and all the service that you provided to this uh, county in this position is certainly something that we Thank you for sincerely, everyone in our community. You'll be remembered for a long, long time, even if they don't name Lambert standing after you, I believe. <laughs> Thank you very much, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Kirk, I thought you were going to say looking at his eye. Anyone else? 
worse than honor medicine he didn't show up tonight. So send the word back. And need a clever. Yeah. The only two other two wear bow ties, I think. Anyone else going once? Yes, sir. Come ahead, Commissioner Coonsey. Anyone that comes in late pays a ten dollar fee. <laughs> well, we don't have a seat for you, so you don't have to pay. Congratulations, Mr. Bruce. Uh, someone worked with Jim in the park court to say something, and might invite you to you know, make a comment too. Uh, those of you that know Jim well, I remember Jim for two things, uh, and those of you who know him well remember them probably the same things. Jim loves to eat, and he loves to talk, and he does both of them quite well. And at the same time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, with reference to Jim's talking, Jim was a very stabilizing influence on the court. I'm sure he has been on your court as well. Uh, a lot of tough issues he mentioned, and Jim was always there to kind of even deal, uh, helped us through a lot of tough issues, and we appreciated that. I remember one time Jim getting really angry, and it was on Short Station Road, I think. I won't mention the, the <laughs> issue, but other than that, he's always calm and, and uh, carefully considered issues and, and did a great job. And I appreciate all the work you've done, Jim. Working with you was a pleasure and honor. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jim, I, I think Short Station Road still raises the hackles on some of our necks, right? No. <laughs> Judge, or my pastor just came in and the wife, and I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's going to want to get up here and rag on me. <laughs> <laughs> but let me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say that both in Mike and Bruce and Reed and members of this court, we've had a lot of disagreements. We've had a lot of uh, debates. We've had a lot of arguments. You haven't seen most of those. Our judges have been pretty smart when something's not going to pass. They won't put it on the agenda and let us get them down some. But uh, we've, we've been disagreeable. Uh, we disagreed, but we've never been disagreeable. So it's been